We are using the big blender in lunch break today. We are using the yuzu fruit. Chef Dan Tucker from Sushi Salva Rio is here to whip up something a little sweet from that sweet and savory brunch menu. Absolutely. We are making a toasted, like a sweet spice pound cake. Uh, toasted spice. Excellent. Cake. Tell me about this yuzu fruit because I don't know anything about it. Uh, yuzu is a Japanese citrus. It tastes a lot like the most bitter tangerine you've ever had. It's a really unique, amazing citrus taste. You use uh, a lot of the juice, not so much of the fruit. You can buy it at a lot of Asian markets. It'll have what looks like kind of a round lemon on the bottle. Really okay. delicious. Excellent. So we want our pound cake to be bitter? <laughs> uh, we want the pound cake to be sweet and rich. We're going to use ah. the yuzu a little uh, sugar and some lightly muddled berries to top it to kind of balance out a little tartness, a little uh, a little bite to kind of balance out the pound cake. So it's all about the combinations here. Okay, Absolutely. so what have you done so far? You got started. So in here we have creamed together one pound of butter, one pound of brown sugar, one cup of white sugar, five eggs, some ground cardamom, allspice, and nutmeg so it's very light and fluffy. Okay. Now we're gonna turn this on very briefly. Add a, one cup of buttermilk, and then three cups of flour to complete our batter. And we'll try not to blow this all over your studio. Oh, that's quite all right. So once you you get always all make this, a mess when you cook. Yeah. It's not fun unless you do. <laughs> you get all this in, and you want to mix it till it starts to get the legs. You'll see little lines going across. Oh, I see. Okay. And once we're there, your batter's ready. You take it out, put it into a, like a nice greased loaf pan. Mm -hmm. Bake it for one hour at 350 degrees, and then through the magic of TV, okay. we have one done. Now the secret ah, to this warm, pound cake, toasty pound cake, is once it comes out of the oven, you want to let it sit in the pan on the counter for about five minutes, and you'll see it pull away from the edges. When it pulls away from the edges, flip it out onto a sheet of foil and wrap it up. Okay, otherwise and, it falls apart. Well, what that's going to do is, because it's hot, all that steam you see coming off mm -hmm. is moisture escaping. So you wrap it up in here and it all goes back in and you get this really rich, moist pound cake. And oh, it's delicious. interesting. That's the you secret. Leave it unwrapped, it gets dry and crumbly and you go, well, this isn't as good as I followed the be. recipe. Why didn't this work? See, now we know the little so secret. You Thank you. And you have this kind of beautiful, and you can see where it's really caramely and spongy and soft and delicious. Can you see that? Can you get a shot of that there, guys? Um, oh, see, now who knew? Because I always leave it out to cool, no, no, sitting out without wrap wrapping it, up. it first. It'll be much better. That's excellent. Okay, and then we're right. going to top it with our... And now we're going to make our yuzu pickled berries. So we've got raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries, a little bit of lemon zest. We're going to add just a little bit of sugar so it's not too sweet or not too tart. And then the yuzu juice. What I like to do is kind of mash... You smell the... that. You may. So... Oh, interesting. If you can't find yuzu at home, uh, Lemon and lime juice combined is not a terrible substitute. It's not quite the same thing, but it's pretty close. Okay. So I like to mash it up just a little bit so that everything kind of gets mixed together and you have mm. really delicious fruit there. That's good and healthy. All those antioxidants in there with those fruits. So we're going to take it over here and we're just going to kind of generously spoon this on top of the cake. It'll give you a little more moisture, some nice tartness to balance out the cake that's really rich interesting kind of heavily flavored with those that looks pretty sweet too. spices and just a lot of powdered sugar to end it off oh perfect and you are set for breakfast or brunch afternoon snack or dessert or today dessert before our lunch yeah, that's <laughs> what you got great well sushi salvario is located at 504 north wells street you also have locations in other cities the sweet and savory brunch every sunday for more information on today's recipe check out wgmtv.com slash midday we're going to taste a little sweet we'll be right back thank you so much thank you